I changed my name. I did sound Victoria Lexlock. Like yeah, I know. I was gonna give you. I, when I finished my tag video, I was like, I don't know what she changed it to, so I'm gonna link it here. Oh, oh, okay. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back after a six month hiatus, and I'm with a very special guest. This is the Courtney, or what's your name? Gimchi? Gimchi! And she just started making YouTube videos, and she was like, let's do a club, and I'm like, alright, let's do this. So this video will be things we learned after high school. We just graduated and, you know, life has changed. Um, things are different, met new people, some relationships ended. Both of our, <laughs> that's a different story for a different time. Anyway, so we're just going to say some of the things that we learned after high school, so if you are interested, just keep on watching. So in high school, you will come across a wide variety of people. You know, everyone you meet isn't regal, if that makes any sense. You'll come across fake people who seem really nice at first. These people you'll meet in classes and really friendly, really helpful in class. And you know, outside of class during passing, they won't even acknowledge your existence. And those are the fake people that won't matter after high school. Also meet with you. Yeah. <laughs> no. And um, with those people, you know, friends will come and go, but in the end, um, you'll know who your true friends are when it comes to that graduation day and the people that make you happy and the people that you celebrate with those are the people that will be friends for a lifetime and just you'll know who your true friends are <laughs> <laughs> it's true Girl, something I learned after high school is that you really need to mature up because I see people still having twitter views and still making drama out of stuff that happened in high school I literally need to realize that once you go to college you're gonna be going with all these older people and they really don't care what you did in high school but yeah I realized that you need to grow up now because you're gonna be over 18 soon and it's gonna look real childish if you're still trying to like act like you're still in high school and make a big deal about people that are still in high school it's like it's like the saying you leave high school but high school never leaves you like just because you graduated high school, some people high school never leaves them. Yeah, because I mean, right after you graduated, I kind of got that feeling where it's like we're adults now. Yeah. Like I'm gonna say that today I had a struggle because I was trying to figure out my game situation, and that was like the first adult decision that me and my roommate had to take. But just finding out like where you're dorming. It's like you really need to mature for that kind of stuff. Don't be worried about. The Twitter beef that happened last night about a girl who stole another girl's dude, like, does that really matter? Another thing I learned in high school is that status doesn't really matter. And of course, at the time, you know, you'll have your popular kids or you'll have your weird kids or your um, athletic kids. That will stay in high school, but afterwards, it, it all dissipates. When you go to college, I mean, no one's going to care that you were the top athlete at school or you were the kid who dressed really weird and ran across campus. When you go to college, everyone goes for the same reason, to get their degree in life. Alright, so something I learned is that you're going to start losing friends left to right. And that sounds really terrible, and like, it's just going to happen and you can't control it. Uh, for example, I mean, I am going to the mainland, and there's going to be a lot of people that I'm going to stop talking to, or not really get time to see. And unless you're like, close friends, like, I'm probably not going to see you at all. And I mean, I hate the people that say like, Oh, you're so we never hang out. And Those I, are the fake people. But I'm very guilty because I do that all the time. Okay. Yes. I'm literally like, Yeah, I've seen you for like two years. It's totally hanging. I just never talk to them again after that. I'm trying to make the most of like my last like year-ish. That's why you'd be like me and you go to community college and stay on the island. Oh. Nothing's wrong with you going to a community college. Don't let the haters hate because that's actually the smart move. While she's getting a degree cheaper, I'm going to be swimming in debt for the rest of my life. Think about community college and where you go to college, that comes to my last point, where where you go to college doesn't matter. I mean, I got so much from people, you know, saying like, oh, you're going to community college, like in a snarky way, them thinking probably I'm not smart enough to go to university. My plan is to go to community colleges and transfer to university. Yes, I'm taking the cheaper route, but I really don't like when people have the mentality that just because you're going to community college means you're dumb. I'm not the brightest, what's the, what's the saying? I'm not the brightest key right? in the pod, but I mean... These are bright. Whatever. <laughs> not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I mean... The brightest light bulb in the bunch. <laughs> 
I just don't like the conception where people think just because you're going to community college means you're dumb. I mean, I'm not dumb. I mean, again, I'm not super smart, but I'm not dumb just because I'm going to community college or, you know, I'm not going to a really good university. It doesn't mean anything about my um, smartness. And adding on to that about what you said about it doesn't matter what you do after high school, uh, in the reverse sense of how people are hating on you going into community college, it's kind of funny because there are some people who are making it like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna go to these big schools and stuff, and then they put all their time and effort and life into high school to get there. But there's so much people like me who didn't, not saying I didn't try as hard, but I didn't put like my life into schools, and I still got into the same school as you. It's kind of funny how people like brag about how they're dedicating their life and doing all this and they're making a big deal in high school about how they must get A's like all the time and they gotta be like the top student. What you do in high school shouldn't have an influence of who you are or what you do after high school, whether you are going to college or you're just staying home and working or you know starting a family. Don't let others write your book. Only you are the author of your own story, so don't let other people come in and try and write your ending. I learned that you just shouldn't put yourself before anyone you don't even know yourself. Like, you went too fast, right? Ooh, yeah, you thought you had a deep voice. Like, ooh, I just jumped in. And like, ooh. If you don't know yourself and you're not making yourself happy, like, I understand if it's like you put others before you, but if you're constantly doing things to please other people and not realizing that you're not enjoying yourself or this isn't for you, then your happiness should always come first. You should love yourself before you love someone else. Definitely. Don't like, if you can't even take care of your own life, don't be taking care of someone else's yeah. life. Yeah. If you can't even figure yourself out, like, you're not going to be able to figure someone else out. That was me. Uh, if you guys do want to see more collabs or just me by myself. Wow, everybody wants to see me. What are you talking about? Anyway, <laughs> links are down below. Um, I have to do all my social media. But if you want to check out Courtney, um, I guess I'll just put something over her face and her, her channel link is down below. Anyways, until next time guys, bye!